Next up we have the Clark Wilson model. Now, uh, this may seem a little bit strange because this is the model that forms the basis of relational databases. Now, we will be talking about relational databases in application security. Uh, and uh, there's a number of things that we're going to talk about uh, that extend from this. But why are we talking about Clark Wilson as a security model? Well, um, for one thing, they... Uh, uh, deal with, uh, the, the model deals with um, the integrity of data. Uh, and the idea of a well-formed transaction, uh, making sure that uh, the uh, entries that you make to your database are correct, that nothing is, is going wrong in the processing of the transaction uh, that is going to uh, render uh, erroneous entries in, into your database. Um, there is uh, also the issue of availability um, in uh, regard to the relational keys. If they are not populated, they are uh, you are going to have missing information in uh, requesting certain queries. So, uh, yes, you know, we, we have integrity and availability as, as part of the model, um, and uh, there is also, uh, interestingly, this is where our concept of separation of duties comes from. Uh, the, the formalization of it um, comes from the, the Clark Wilson model, and it pops up again and again and again. Uh, it has has become a you know a very central principle with regard to uh, information security. So um, yeah, although this is uh, the the origin of relational databases, it it has a number of aspects reaching into a, a number of different areas of security. Uh, now it goes into uh, additional uh, areas which we will uh, again get into in application security when we're uh, talking about databases. The, the principle in uh, uh, Clark Wilson of the, the well-formed transaction, which uh, was fairly basic in, in their model, then gets extended in other database management uh, presentations and, and uh, development to things like um, atomicity uh, in databases and uh, a, a functions uh, such as the two-phase commit. So, uh, although these are not part of the Clark Wilson model uh, originally, uh, they're their work led to an awful lot of stuff in regard to uh, database management and, and therefore integrity. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, now, as I say, the, uh, the basic principle, the main principle with regard to Clark Wilson um, is the, the well-formed transaction. And in a relational database, uh, and as I'll, I'll go uh, further into uh, when we get into application security, a relational database is not just simply a flat file, any flat file database. There are principles that govern a proper and properly implemented relational database. And the idea of the well-formed transaction is a part of this. And that says, when, in, in terms of database management, the database engine itself should not allow an entry to be made where the 
primary key for the record uh, is either missing or is not unique. So we, we have to have uh, a database engine that maintains this well-formed transaction that ensures the uniqueness of the key, the primary key, and ensures that there is, in fact, a primary key for any of these entries. Uh, so we are, we are dealing with uh, the, the construction of the database, the, the updating of the database, the maintaining of the database. Uh, oh, and that's, I mean, that's not the only one. Then we have to have the, um, the relational keys. And the relational keys must be populated. Again, this is something that the, uh, the database engine itself needs to maintain and enforce uh, that well-formed transactions, permissible transactions, have to have the relational key between, which makes the, the joins between the tables populated. So, um, here we have uh, a kind of a mandatory access control um, in regard to uh, relational databases. That the, the system itself enforces certain rules as to what we can and cannot do with regard to our, uh, our databases. And again, remember that, uh, you know, this is basically half of all computing because uh, computer applications are either doing calculations or they are maintaining a database and, and sometimes both. So, um, this does have a, uh, a very significant impact on basically, uh, you know, a, a ton of what we do with regard to computing. This one simple central model.